are goods for personal use imported into the country as passenger accompanied baggage subject to payment of tax when I arrive with them. Today, we want to try and answer that question. My name is Asunget Simon. I am Acting Manager Customs, Uganda Revenue Authority here at Entebbe International Airport. So we want to try and explain whether goods for personal use coming as passenger accompanied baggage are subject to tax. First and foremost, let us understand who is a passenger. A passenger is a person moving from point A to point B, okay, either by air, by road, by water, or by railway. Our focus today is a passenger arriving by air. Now, the bags that they come along with is called passenger accompanied baggage. It means they checked those bags from the point of departure and they are arriving with those bags into the country of destination. So, if I have goods for personal use, are those goods subject to tax? That is what we want to try and answer today. And if you are a regular traveler, please, this is for you. We are going to approach this aspect in the two angles. The first one is the items that you have been using in the country where you left and those items are used, they have been in your personal use. They include maybe a TV, they include maybe your mobile phone, they include maybe your laptop, and personal items like clothes. You have been using them from the other country, and now you pack them in your bag, and you have come with them into Uganda. Now, those goods are generally exempt of taxes. You will not be subject to any tax when you come with those goods. Now, category two are new items that you come along with inside those bags that you have as passenger company baggage. Let's say, in addition to your personal items, those items I mentioned earlier, you also have a brand new mobile phone, you have a brand new TV, you have brand new clothes, you have brand new shoes, you have a couple of other items, okay? Now, if those are part of the items in your passenger baggage, the question is, will they be taxable? Remember, we said, you are saying these items are for your personal use. You are going to use the TV in your own house. The new mobile phone you have brought is for your personal use, or perhaps is for your loved one. Now, when you arrive at Entebbe, will you be subject to tax? The first point is that those goods all together, the brand new items, should not exceed the value of United States dollars 500, okay, altogether. The second rule that must be made is that the said items must not be packaged for commercial purposes. They are not for sale. The third aspect is that the said goods must not be for distribution to other people, okay? So in other words, they must be for your personal use. So at what point do they become exempt is when it meets the criteria I have just mentioned that one, altogether the brand new items in your personal baggage should not exceed the value of $500. Number two, they are not for sale. Number three, they are not for distribution to other people. And of course the last one is that the quantity should be within the allowable quantities as the proper officer may determine. Now, at what point do they become dutable? If all the new items in your company do exceed the value of $500, okay, then it becomes dutable. If the items in your personal baggage is for distribution to other people, say I have brought 10 mobile phones, one for my uncle, one for my auntie, one for my wife, those items will definitely pay a tax when they arrive into Uganda. Are uh, those items for commercial purposes? Okay, if you are brought, say I have a smaller shop and the airline gave me 40 kilograms, so I came with the, my, uh, my clothes for my shop, okay, then those items shall not be exempt. They will pay uh, taxes when you arrive. Customs will facilitate you to ensure that you have a smooth 
processing of your uh, your items when you come here we shall use a simplified trade regime and within a period of about 20 to 30 minutes you will be cleared through customs what is the key however is that you must have authentic receipt because from the receipt we are able to determine the value of the items in your possession and then that will aid the customs officers to facilitate clear you through the customs thank you once more i am simon asunget acting manager customs uganda revenue authority at entebbe international airport